uh, it's important really to just appreciate the big picture about ketone bodies and how they're used and why they're important. So ketone bodies are derived from acetyl-CoA and in turn that acetyl-CoA comes from the beta oxidation of fatty acids in the liver. So the liver will use the beta oxidation and acetyl-CoA for its own energy needs. At some point <coughs> there will be enough energy ATP and NADH that the TCA cycle gets shut down so you have an accumulation of acetyl-CoA and as a result acetyl-CoA gets shunted into making ketone bodies in the liver so that's the first important thing is that the only organ capable of making ketone bodies uh, is the liver the second important thing is why do you need ketone bodies? Acetyl-CoA that accumulates in the liver cannot be released. You have to remember the coenzyme A molecule is huge. That cannot be exported out of the cell. So by making ketone bodies, you're creating two new molecules, beta-hydroxybutyrate and acetoacetate, that can be exported, released into the bloodstream. Okay, so that's the advantage of making ketone bodies because you can you created a molecule that can be released into the bloodstream that can be used by multiple tissues with the exception of the liver. The liver cannot use ketone bodies. It can make them, but it cannot use them. So once released in the bloodstream, ketone bodies can be picked up by a variety of tissues. Okay? muscle, heart, uh, even the brain. That's what's so important. The brain can pick up ketone bodies from the bloodstream when they reach a certain concentration in the blood. So that's the important thing. So knowing what they're used for, what's the advantage of having these uh, molecules made, is that they can be transportable in the bloodstream and they can be used as an alternative energy source by a variety of cells, including the brain. <coughs> okay. <coughs>